Welcome back to Dawson Design Production Company. Today I would like to talk about Apple TV Plus. This video is a reminder if you have the trial of Apple TV Plus and you want to not pay for it, cancel it before the 10th of July. Now let's review Apple TV Plus. The app is not very good. So I'd like to go over the cons first. The iPad OS and iOS app, it's too easy to close it. Like you just tap the screen and it closes. That's really annoying. Also, it forgets what episode you're watching uh, or where you are in the episode and you have to fast forward. And when you get to the end of the episode, it suggests sometimes that you rewatch the same episode, even though there is another episode to watch. So that's kind of dumb. Like who would ever want to do that? Uh, navigation is weird and keeps changing, like where the shows are. The search is just a line of letters, which is stupid. It should be like a block of letters that you can navigate through. I like that I can get it on Fire TV, but it displays shows that aren't on Apple TV Plus and that you have to purchase, but you can't purchase on the Fire TV because it doesn't support in-app purchases. So. That's kind of dumb. I hate that there is no Android app, which I guess if you got the trial, it's because you bought an iPhone, so you've got an iPhone, why would you? But anyway, I don't like that there's no Android app. That was disappointing. Now let's talk about some of the pros. Uh, it was cool seeing Apple products in TV shows, like everyone used only Apple products. It was the world that should be. I like that I can watch Shows that I've purchased on iTunes on my Fire TV. That's really cool. I forgot to say this, but Apple TV Plus costs $5 a month or $50 a year, making it one of the cheapest streaming services out there. So that's a pretty good pro. Uh, also, it had some really good shows. I didn't like C, but Morning Show was really good. Uh, Home Before Dark was really good. Season two just started. I've watched some of it. It's not as good as, like, it's slower than last season. Central Park is really good. Uh, season two also just started on that. I feel like that's why the trial is ending because they're starting all these season twos of shows that you started. Central Park season two, it's not as good as last season, but it's, it's fun. Trying season two just started. I really liked trying season one and season two is probably equally as good. Mythic Quest was a really good show uh, and now they're doing season two as well. I haven't really kept up with that because it's a bit boring. Uh, Amazing Stories, I'm not sure if it has season two but it was a really good show and I don't see how they could mess up season two because every episode is a one-off. Uh, Ghost Rider was really good, uh, but the whole thing is just kind of slow. So, I really like all of these shows, and I'm going to continue watching them. But, as you may notice, most of the pros are in the TV shows. The cons are the app sucks, and the pros are they're good shows. So, there you go. Now you know if you should get Apple TV Plus. This is basically a two-year review. Let me know what you think of Apple TV Plus in the comments. Are you canceling it? Don't forget to like, subscribe, comment that down below. Later.